Hello students, I am Dr. Tanwa Vishash and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. Okay, so I request you student please read the question carefully, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box. This is a very easy question and I request you student please write few words along with your answer as the explanation and don't worry. After some time, you'll get the right answer with explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Before going to retail student, look at what reaction I have given. If you can understand that, that's very easy. First of all, this is actually a vinyl bromide or vinyl bromide. Okay. And here, palladium tetraphenyl phosphine, this vinyl magnesium bromide and THF. Remember student, in this case, Typical SN2 or nucleophilic substitution not possible. Although you can say that sir, this reagent is in carbon and so it can attack and it can leave. It can eliminate. No, that's not possible student. So that's why we need this reagent that is palladium or palladium 0 tetraphenyl phosphine catalyst. And this reaction follows a specific pathway means different type of pathway. So let's learn how the reaction happens. So first step of reaction is called oxidative addition of this vinyl carbon bromine bond to palladium because in this case the oxidation state of palladium is zero and this palladium in what happened in the first step first step this sigma bond coordinates to this palladium and one this triphenyl phosphine leaves later on after coordination it undergo oxidative addition means Palladium gives two electron and this bond breaks, breaks into one part. This part is also negative and means this is negative and here also means I should write this delta negative and this is Br minus fine and in this case the oxidation state of palladium is 2 then plus 2. Fine. So this is oxidative addition means first of all oxidation of palladium happens and addition of this carbon bromine both palladium fine. In the second step what happens you you can see that these vinyl you see carbon and because magnesium is highly electropositive but palladium is transition metal so this magnesium is highly electron means electropositive so this is carbon and in nature so it will attack this palladium and this Br will leave as Br minus so what will happen fate of this Grignard this vinyl magnesium bromide it will produce this magnesium bromide and in this case these two carbon atoms are attached to palladium and still here palladium is plus two oxidation state and the third step is called student reductive elimination so what happens here that these two bonds you can you can think that these two bonds coupled together means uh, with a single single electron contribution and here palladium will take its two electron and ultimately this part means there is a bond formation which bond is formed here this bond so this bond is formed because of this reductive elimination and this is actually a cc bond formation reaction okay this is very important now what is the fate of this palladium palladium again became palladium zero and in this way catalysis goes on so that's why very small amount of palladium zero or palladium this state of nail phosphine derivative is enough and that's why it is written as catalytic amount needed so this is the overall reaction now so what is the product of this reaction so product is option a okay now if this question is asked in your exam how can you answer the question less than 30 seconds first of all you need to know about this palladium catalyzed cross coupling reaction why this is called cross coupling because coupling between two different species okay and in, in this case palladium act as catalyst so that's why palladium based cross coupling needed and then you can understand the first step is oxidative addition and second step is reductive elimination in presence of this organometallic compound so this is the overall thing now so if you look understand this first step oxidative addition they can addition then this magnesium right so 
this is only the product no reaction is gone means oxidative addition so mixture of this and remember student c formation is not possible i did not give any that much strong base like na nh2 or tertiary butoxide heat etc it's a pretty mild reaction point number one second palladium is present so that's you need to encounter third this option c this is actually a homo coupling of this reaction and you may consider how this possible if i am giving a reagent which is giving electron means like sodium those the strong means highly electron donating substance but in this case if you look at this palladium it is true that it gives two electron and oxidize to palladium plus two but it is not that much reducing in nature it's mild and you'll be surprised that the electronegativity of palladium and carbon so closed means palladium is electronegativity is like this carbon so that's why this palladium carbon bond is very much stable it's almost covalent type it is not like carbon magnesium carbon lithium like that okay so such reaction not possible so option b is also not possible so option a is the right answer now in conclusion, what you have learned today, that palladium zero can react with sp2 carbon bromine bond and its reduction is possible with palladium zero. And this step is called C oxidative addition, addition of CBr bond. In the next step, this vinyl magnesium bromide acts as a nucleophile to palladium center and it replaces the bromide. And in this way, vinyl gets attached to palladium atom. And finally, by reductive elimination process, this carbon-carbon bond formation occur. And this step is called the cross-coupling. And finally, please remember the disposal of palladium should be carried out carefully as it very costly and toxic metal. Remember student, this palladium is very, very much important in industry because of its versatile chemistry okay and not only that's why uh, it is important and second it is not that much available so that's why first of all demand more supply is not that much adequate so that's why it is costly and second thing remember palladium is very much toxic for humans animals etc so its disposal should be careful you can't throw palladium directly and the most important thing if you can recover palladium after chemical reaction that is the best from green chemistry point of view and the last but the most <laughs> important is butane is very important in dills alder reaction dills alder reaction is actually a pericyclic reaction between this diene and dienophile which will eventually produce a six member ring you can see this okay i've already discussed few lectures on this please visit for better understanding so this is the end of the discussion i believe this video will be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider this my contents are well means deserving then please help this channel to grow so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next